President Tinubu announced his death, expressing his heartfelt condolences to the family and the Nigerian armed forces. The president also postponed the Federal Executive Council meeting scheduled to hold Wednesday. DBC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde has details. We must. The death of Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja prompted President Bola Tinubu to postpone the Federal Executive Council meeting earlier scheduled to hold in the council chambers. Ministers observed a moment of silence in honor of a gallant soldier who fought at several theaters of operations and led the troops to victory. The ministers of defense and information conveyed President Bola Tinubu's condolence to the bereaved family, the army, and Nigerians. They also acknowledged that Lieutenant General Lagbaja instilled discipline in the army and inspired followership. He was a gallant officer, very, very hardworking. He was indeed a warrior. All we can say is to go to uh, bless the family and uh, we assure the Nigerians that uh, we we'll continue praying for the demise of uh, Lagbaja. The nation is in mourning. Uh, the president and the entire government is in mourning. Uh, he was indeed a very uh, resourceful officer who has put in best to fight uh, insurgency in this country. The vice president also met the chief of army staff who had come to the presidential villa to brief the commander-in-chief on recent happenings in the army following the death of the chief of army staff. He says his predecessor deserves to be more celebrated, even in death. He was a selfless leader, very passionate about Nigeria, and he led the Nigerian army very well. He was courageous. He was known to be thorough and a professional to the core. So it's, it's a big loss to us. And how we could say at this moment is that we pray that the good Lord will find a good place for him to rest. The newly appointed acting chief of army staff was promoted by President Bola Tinobu to the rank of lieutenant general and charged to take up the gauntlet and lead the army against all threats to Nigeria's sovereignty and national security. Flags are flying at half-mast, an indication of a country in mourning. President Bola Tinubu, as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, is ensuring that the legacies of late Lieutenant General Taurid Lagbaja are sustained. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.